Welcome back to the cafe. Thanks for joining us. She has released over 20 cookbooks and is here to tell us about her brand new book called Elbows Off the Table, please. Ladies and gentlemen, the fantastic Joe Seeger. Yeah. With a croaky voice. She's got a croaky voice. She's got the croaky voice. Yeah, yes. but apart from that, you are on fire. Um, it is so nice to have you here. I didn't know this, but you actually trained to be a nurse. How on earth did you end up in the world of cooking? Oh, look, I think you're allowed to have a few sort of changes in direction and I'm still a nurse, you know, you're always sort of on call if you're a nurse. And, um, you know, in a small rural town like ours, I often get called out, you right, know, right. delivering babies and things, you know. Jeez, so you are perfect really? around. Yeah. Like with the, with the first response team. Wow, know? so yeah. bake the slice, deliver yeah. the baby, <laughs> <laughs> bake the slice. Versatile, versatile. Yeah. And, ha and yeah. how did you move into cooking? Was it something that happened or was it just a natural progression for you? Well, I had... Um, I had worked for about four, nearly five years on the British Heart Team and doing a big research thing, working university years in London and I went to cooking school, first in London, then I went to Paris and trained as a chef and then came back and thought, saw the light, the pilot light, you know, nice. and had a little change of direction and opened a restaurant. So, you know, who knows? Who knows what the next best thing is, you know? What's um, your favourite kind of thing to do? Is it baking or the cooking? You know, I'm mad about drinks parties. <laughs> Drinks parties, yeah. A I love all those parties. nice little finger foods. I think that's really... I think people are quite brave in trying something different when it's just that big. Mm. And I love that sort of food. But, you know, I never get sick of cooking. I get a bit sick of the cleaning up. And, you know, I, I'm quite happy having Mark do all the work in the background. <laughs> but um, I never get sick of the actual process. Love it. Well, I just wanted to say I can smell the food that we are cooking while well, Mark's cooking for us <laughs> at the moment. I can I've hear taken it his as book well. too. I hope he's remembered what the recipe is so far because I've got it. Oh, he's got it. Oh, good. It. Yeah. Oh, and it looks fantastic. And I noticed that you were quite at home in front of the camera, behind that kitchen bench. How hard was it to go from being a restaurant owner to getting your own TV show? Can you tell us what happened there? A uh, huge journey. Have we got, what, two days? <laughs> uh, a long journey, but um, it was quite hard to get onto television. It was like no one was in prime time. Right. And they said, you know, they'd never do it. And it was kind of interesting because I got the message quite loud and clear that we couldn't actually have a large fat person presenting wow. food. We needed a sort of aerobics instructor. Wow. So it was kind of, that's when I came back and said, actually, it'll be real food for yeah. real people. No, good work too. And took me quite a long, but you know, anything worth anything is worth all the effort. Yeah. And I loved it. I loved waving my whisk and holding a <laughs> conversation simultaneously. And that is actually quite a skill, as Mike is finding out. <laughs> <laughs> Very hard skill, yeah. yeah. Now, last year was actually quite a difficult year for you, wasn't it? Rubbish um, year. Had you, a rubbish year. You yeah. lost your business and it was very public. I mean, yeah. how, do you, how did you get through something like that? Well, it was really sad and a tough time. And I think, you know, the week that we lost our business, 11 others liquidated. But you only heard about mine. And it was it's a tough time and the and Canterbury earthquakes are still affecting people. You know, mm. I think people think, oh that was then and it's over. But it's only just now tourists are coming back. We've got hotels open. And our business with the cafe side was very much about Vera and Hank in the camper van calling in and Auckland and people coming down and I just think you know nobody came for a long while mm. Well the great thing is Joe, is that you know here you are today you've bounced back It's just a little blip that's happened and here you are rearing to go with a brand new book elbows off the table Please let's talk about that because what you've managed to do again real food Obviously had to cater to the kale generation and the yeah, changing appetite of, there, yeah. of New Zealanders um, But I love how you've sort of bought an etiquette. Are, are we lacking that a little bit in our kitchens? Well look I was doing a a lot of cooking classes. I started them as sort of finishing school for blokes. I don't think I, I don't think you ever came, did you? No. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what but, um, yeah. A finishing school for blokes, but it turned into you know young bank managers, partners in the law firm, seventh mm. formers, girls, lots of girls, not just boys, and that desire to actually know. I think people today spend a lot of time going to taekwondo and music, violins, scouts you know, soccer, everything, that they're not actually spending time on the skill set that will actually make a difference and perhaps get you the job. Please and thank you are still the magic words. Mm, mm. Yeah. They really are. Yeah. Okay, then finally, then what would be your magic tip then if we're going to a dinner party 
what should we do? What's our the perf How can we be the perfect guests? Arrive. If you've said you're coming. Yes. Good. If, yeah. you've, if you've said you're coming, you come. Not with 28 friends. Okay. Just you. Got it. <laughs> um, the table napkin goes yes. on your lap. It's not a serviette, it's a napkin. Right. It, it, goes, your little thing it goes on your lap and you put it on your lap, even in a restaurant. Okay. It's not the waiter's job. Nice. No one should be in your lap except you in your napkin. Right. Okay. Um, <laughs> follow your lead. Follow the lead, I think. Okay. Okay. You know, if it's a formal dinner, there's the Queen. She picks up a knife. You do. Right. There you go for it. Yeah. Well, fantastic. Yeah. Have and when she finishes, you finish too. <laughs> nice tips. Oh, but I really like that mousse. Oh, she stopped eating. Yeah. Joe, thank you so much for joining us today. Really looking forward to trying what you've been whipping mm. up in the kitchen too with your minion's help. He loves it when I call him a minion. Uh, <laughs> Joe's brand new book, Elbows Off the Table, please, is out now. And she's hosting events all around the country to celebrate as well. So check out the Penguin website for details.